Welcome back to the channel, my beautiful daisies. Okay, let's be real. How many of you just felt a tiny shudder when you read that title? Don't worry, your girl gets it. For so long, I thought math was this secret club only for geniuses born with a calculator built into their brain. I'd look at a problem, my mind would go blank, and I'd think, well, I'm just not a math person. But what if I told you that's the biggest lie we've ever been sold? Math isn't about being a genius. It's about strategy. And today, I'm giving you the entire playbook. This video is your one-stop shop to go from feeling completely lost to actually feeling confident and, dare I say, acing your next math test. So before we dive in, I need you to do two things for me. One, go grab your cutest notebook and a pen that just feels good to write with. You're gonna wanna take notes. And two, get your drink of choice. I don't care if it's a matcha latte, a boba tea, or just some water in a fancy glass. Get your fuel, get comfy, and let's transform your math journey together. You're not just gonna watch this video, you're gonna level up. One, mindset shift, breaking the brain barrier. All right, first order of business, we're breaking up with that toxic mindset. Right here, right now, say it with me. I am not bad at math. I am just learning. The idea that you're either born with it or you're not is complete nonsense. Think of it like this. You wouldn't expect to walk into a gym for the first time and deadlift 200 pounds, right? Your brain is a muscle and math is just one of the best workouts for it. It's not about talent. It's about training. The key ingredients, consistency and confidence. You have to show up for yourself, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard and fake that confidence until you make it. Walk into your study session like, okay, algebra, let's dance. You'd be amazed how much changing your internal monologue changes your results. Two, understand, don't memorize, bye-bye, brain cramps. I can see some of you side-eyeing me, but there are so many formulas. I have to memorize them. My darling Daisy, memorization is a trap. It's like trying to build Ikea furniture without looking at the pictures. You might get a screw in somewhere, but the whole thing is wobbly and will collapse. Conceptual clarity is your goal. Instead of just memorizing a square plus b square is equal to c square, understand why it works. What is Pythagoras actually saying about the relationship between those sides? When you get the why, the what suddenly makes sense. You start to see the patterns and the logic and you won't panic and forget everything during a test because the knowledge is actually rooted in your brain. Three, active practice strategies, small wins, big results. Okay, strategy time. You can't just read your textbook and hope it magically absorbs into your skin. You need active, smart practice. First, little and often. 20 to 30 minutes of focus practice every day is a million times better than a four-hour cram session once a week. It tells your brain, hey, this is important, let's keep it handy. Second, mix your problems. Don't just do 50 of the same easy problem and call it a day. Structure your practice like a workout, a warm-up, a few easy problems to build confidence. The main set, a mix of medium problems to solidify your skills. The challenge round, one or two really hard problems to push your limits and apply what you know. And finally, use past papers and mock tests. This is non-negotiable. It's like a dress rehearsal for the real show. It gets you used to the format, the timing, and the pressure. Four, problem-solving techniques. Your step-by-step -step blueprint. When you see a scary word problem, what do you do? Don't just freeze. Here's your blueprint. One, read it slowly twice. Underline key information. What are they actually asking for? Two, identify the units. Is it meters? Kilograms? This is a huge clue and a great way to check your answer at the end. Three, draw a diagram. Seriously, even if it's not a geometry problem, visualizing it makes everything easier. Four, break it into tiny steps. Math is a recipe. You don't just throw everything in a bowl you follow the steps. Write down each step. This makes it less overwhelming and helps you find exactly where you get stuck. Five, look for patterns. Does it look like a formula you know? Is it a variation of a problem you've done before? Five, 
common mistakes and how to avoid them. Let's learn from our collective mistakes so we don't keep making them. Rushing. This is the number one cause of silly errors. Slow down. Read the question properly. Skipping steps. You think you can do it in your head until you can't. Write it all down. It makes checking your work so easy. Ignoring word problems. I know they're the worst, but they're where the math lives. Practice them the most. Poor handwriting. A5 that looks like an S will ruin your day. Keep it neat. 6. Study hacks. Work smart, not just hard. Your bestie has some hacks for you. Create a formula sheet. As you learn new formulas, add them to a dedicated sheet in your own words. The act of writing it builds memory. Spaced repetition. Review old topics every few days. Apps like Anki are great for this. It fights the forgetting curve. The teachback method. This is the ultimate test. Try to explain a concept to your cat, your plants, or yourself in the mirror. If you can teach it simply, you truly understand it. 7. Time management during exams. Test day strategy. Do not just start from question 1. 1. Skim the entire test. Get a lay of the land. 2. Do the easy questions first. This builds confidence, banks easy points, and calms your nerves. 3. Allocate your time. If the test is 60 minutes and has 30 questions, you have about 2 minutes per question. Don't spend 10 minutes on one hard problem and leave 20 easy ones unanswered. 4. If you're stuck, circle it and move on. Come back later. Your subconscious will be working on it. 8. Resources and tools. Alright, my global daisies, listen up. This part is for all of you, no matter where you are. You are not alone in this, and you don't have to figure it out with just your textbook. We are leveraging technology. I'm giving you a list of my favorite, mostly free, apps and websites that are like having a 24-7 tutor in your pocket. One for homework help and step-by-step -step solutions. Khan Academy. This is the holy grail. It's completely free for everyone, forever. They have courses from basic arithmetic to calculus, with video lessons, practice exercises, and full-length tests. It's a non-profit, so it's pure education gold. Photo math stuck on a problem? Take a picture of it, yes, handwritten too. And this app will not only give you the answer, but show you the step-by-step -step solution. Use it to learn the process, not just to copy answers. Microsoft Math Solver. Another amazing free tool that lets you type, write, or scan a problem and get solutions, graphs, and explanations. Two for visualization and understanding. Desmos. This is a free, incredibly powerful and user-friendly graphing calculator. Type in any equation and it will draw the graph for you. It's a game changer for understanding what functions actually look like. GeoGebra. Perfect for geometry, algebra, and calculus. It lets you create interactive constructions and graphs so you can see how changing an equation changes the shape. It's also free. 3.4 practice and testing yourself. Quizlet. You can use the free version to create digital flashcards for formulas and definitions. You can also search for sets other students have already made for your specific math topic. BBC Bit Size. Especially for my UK daisies, but great for anyone. Free revision resources, summaries, and mini tests for a ton of math topics. For dot four, when you're totally stuck. YouTube. Don't underestimate it. Search for your specific topic. Channels like Organic Chemistry Tutor, Khan Academy, and Corbett Maths have saved millions of students. If you don't get it from your teacher, someone on YouTube will explain it in a way that clicks. These tools are there to support you, not to do the work for you. Use them to check your work, to understand a step you missed, or to see a concept visually. All right, toolkit acquired. Let's finish strong. Nine, motivation and encouragement. I need you to hear this. There was a time I cried over my algebra homework. I felt so defeated. But I started applying these exact strategies. It wasn't overnight, but slowly, the struggles turned into little victories. Then those victories got bigger. Math is a skill, not a talent. It is a language you can learn. You are 100% capable of not just passing, but excelling. Your past struggles do not define your future success. So let's recap. Shift your mindset, understand the concepts, 
Practice actively, use your problem-solving blueprint, learn from mistakes, hack your study time, and manage your exams like a pro. You have everything you need. The only thing left to do is to start. So I have homework for you. Today, I want you to do just one math problem. Just one. Apply the steps we talked about. Take that first small step. If this video helped you, do me a huge favor. Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who needs a math glow up. And tell me in the comments, what's the one math topic that always trips you up? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss more videos on how to conquer school and life. Remember, you are capable, you're smart, and you've got a whole garden of daisies here rooting for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.